All right, so a uh, question there is, what makes a differential equation linear? So we've got a differential equation, and it looks like this. And so it looks like this, and a couple of things to get here is that these are all functions. I got um, a dot of x, a one of x, a two of x, and these are just functions, and then we're gonna have all the way down, and then this is f of x, and that's we'll call that our right-hand side function. And then what you want to notice here is, is that even though it kind of looks like these are powers, in different when we write them as differential equations, they're not powers. They're actually um, derivatives. So these are derivatives. That's the nth derivative. And this goes all the way down to the first derivative. And then here's the function y itself. So there's our function y. Now, once we've got kind of like our symbols and how our symbols work here, for a function to be linear, what we're saying is, is that this function has these a naught x, a one x, a two x, all the way up through f of x, they are functions of x only, okay? Examples of functions of x only, um, f of x equals sine x, f of x equals a constant that actually is a function of x only, it's x to the zeroth power, okay? Um, f of x equals x squared over three minus x, rational function, but still a function of x only. It's only got x's in it. Functions that are not a functions of x only, right, would be something like um, y sine x, okay? And notice, I'm not talking about like when it's next to this y. I'm talking about like the full function, call it a f of x, y, equals y sine x, okay? Or we have, say for example, and actually it's not, yeah, that, there, there that is. Or say for example, we have f of x, y equals y squared sine of three x. Okay, again, it's got a y squared in it. Um, so if it's got any y's in it, any, if any of these functions that are in front of those derivatives have any y's in them, they're nonlinear. Okay, so to give you an example of a ex uh, linear function, we've got something like uh, 3y double prime plus sine xy prime plus um, 3 over x minus 4y equals, and then make sure we have to make sure that this one also is a function of x, and we'll have it equal to 11 because a constant is still a function of x. Different example, we want to do not linear. We have something along the lines of um, y sine x, y double prime, plus sine of x, y prime, plus three over x minus four, y equals 11. We've got the same problem here, we, it's nonlinear, and that's because the function in front of y double prime in this case, that's a function of y and x. And so hence, that's nonlinear. So when we talk about a linear function, and a nonlinear function, what we're talking about is we're talking about a function, or, or excuse me, not a function, but a differential equation that is uh, linear is a differential equation where all of those front functions and our right-hand function are all functions of x only. If, on the other hand, it is not a function of x, uh, or any of those are not a function of x, then we end up with a nonlinear equation. As a note, the reason why we call it linear, okay, is because none of these derivatives are to any other power other than the power of one. And that's really important, like no functions of y, right, so consequently we only have powers of one. Okay, and that's basically our idea when we talk about something being linear. And that's functionally, that, that, that's the concept, right? It's linear because all of those derivatives and the function y are only to a power of one.